YouTube, it's your boy Brupak. Welcome to the Brupocalypse. I decided to start a new tutorial series for fellow PlayStation 4 users that want to make videos using the built-in software share factory that's included with the PS4. I've searched for, for tutorials without much luck, so I started uh, getting creative and trying different things to achieve the look I was hoping to achieve while using share factory and its limited features. With that said, this entire video is being edited within share factory. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a custom intro and outro for your videos while using ShareFactory. You're going to need a computer and whatever imaging software that's available to you. What you want to do is you want to open your imaging software and make your intro image with the dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels. After you're done making your intro or outro image, save it and upload it to the image hosting service of your choice. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Imager because they're really easy to use and it's free. Now, after you upload your image to Imager, copy the direct link to the image and paste it in Notepad or write it down. Keep in mind that the URL you just copied is case sensitive. Now, turn on your PS4 and open the web browser. Type in the web address you just copied down and you'll see your image. Press square on your controller to make the web browser go into full screen and press your R3 button to enlarge the image to fit your screen if it isn't already. Make sure the mouse cursor isn't on the image. If it is, just press the left thumbstick to the right until you can't see the cursor anymore and press your share button on your controller. Now once you have your image saved, go ahead and open Share Factory and start a new project. You can choose any theme you want, doesn't matter. Once the project loads, press X and choose Insert Screenshot. If you have any clips from the theme you just loaded, you can delete them so you're left with just the screenshot. You can make the intro or outro as long as you want by pressing the square and choosing the trim feature. I suggest between 5 and 10 seconds, but it's really up to you. Now all you have to do is add whatever music or sound effect to your intro and trim it to fit your clip. The only thing left to do now is go ahead and save your project and export the video. When prompted, if you want to share your video, just choose share later and your custom intro or outro is done. If you have any questions or an idea for the next tutorial you would like to see, feel free to post in the comments below. Liking this video and subscribing will help ensure other people can find this tutorial and together we can all make quality videos on a budget. This has been your boy Brewpock. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.